Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Escape Out of the Box and today I'm coming with to you with a message on do-it-yourself designer living and this week we're looking at do-it-yourself designer journey and um, I'm very specifically going to be talking about something I call the 15 minute mile and um, in the last few months this little concept has really um, I guess gained momentum for me and very much snowballed and brought just a complete application across my life. The whole idea of these incremental changes has really empowered me in lots of ways and, and helped me to um, make good progress with things. So I want you just to consider the whole idea. I'm sure you've heard of the four minute mile. Okay, so they've got the four minute mile which was all about athletics and about crossing that distance in form, you know, under four minutes, breaking that record. It was a perceived barrier, not an actual barrier. And when someone actually did break the four minute mile, and if you know who, then please do tell because I haven't researched it and don't know. And um, I'm sure everyone would like to know. So the four minute mile was a perceived barrier and once it was broken by somebody it was continually broken by several others and so that's the principle of the four minute mile is being able to cross a certain amount of distance in what seems to be an impossible amount of time okay the other uh, kind of mile that I want you to look at is going the extra mile now it's a biblical concept and I'm sure it exists in in plenty of other um, various representations as well but basically the whole idea of don't do the bare necessity but do the double amount do the extra bit go further than anyone else does don't be average give more all that type of thing and that the 15 minute mile is kind of a cross-section a, a compilation of those two things and it's all about um, using incremental moments in your life and in the way that you do things to be able to get the distance the extra mile to go the distance of the extra mile in less than what was done in an ordinary mile so basically you're doing twice as much distance, being twice as effective in what used to be considered an impossible amount of time. And that's what the 15 minute mile is. And it's incredibly practical and very applicable at any point in your life, in any area of your life. And as we go along, you'll see how. So that's it for, for me today, the 15 minute mile. That's your introduction and I'll be back with some more um, very soon. Bye. And I'm back with you today on the do-it-yourself designer journey and we're looking at the wonder of the 15 minute mile now the reason that um, just to recap that the 15 minute mile works so well is because what you're doing is actually engaging with a forward um, momentum in your productivity so basically by choosing a 15 minute task that you can focus your energy on to you are propelling yourself toward the lifestyle that you desire. Your creative energy and the desire that you put forth for that lifestyle is what's drawing it to you but your actions that you take and the things that you do are what are taking you toward it and providing you with um, the connecting links between where you are and the opportunities to be where you would like to be. So the 15 minute mile works very powerfully that way. In fact, it almost seems to have a concentrated energy about it. And that's exactly how I found it to work. Now today I wanted to just quickly talk about the possibilities of using the 15 minute mile principle in relationships. And the first thing that I recommend is that you go and listen to the um, Do It Yourself Designer Relationships Volume 1. There's a link in the write up that goes with this. And in that, you'll actually find um, uh, you know, a few 15-minute tasks that you can do that will help you to start to consciously create the quality of your relationships. But the other things that you can look at are 15-minute ways to really enhance and enrich and, en and connect with people. And um, you know, I love phones. I love taking a photo wherever I am and sending it to someone so that I can feel like they're sharing the moment with me and so that they actually feel like they're engaging with my life and um, you know people that know me and know me well know that I am the show and tell queen I love sharing where I am who I am what I'm doing with people with the people that are in my life and I, and I love showing that kind of um, interest with them and I would love for people to do the same for me and you know sometimes they develop that habit as a result of me doing that for them but that's one of the ways that you can use 15 minute tasks 
to enhance your relationships. The other ways are lots of little activities. Just say, for example, you want to let someone know that you're thinking about them, that you care about them, and maybe this person hasn't always been the easiest company for you, so you do it one step removed. You let them know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, you share your heart, but you do it in a way that still allows you to keep the space that you need until that relationship is developed a bit further along in the manner that you'd like. So, you know, you can send them a text or with a photo of the moment, or you can make them a video, or you can send out cards, or you can take an extra 15 minutes to do something special with their food. You know, like um, my son loves making faces out of his food. He always did. And so, you know, do something different with the way you present the food when you're cooking for someone. There's a thousand and one, there's countless ways that you can enhance your relationships through taking an extra 15 minutes. So um, that's my suggestion today is watch that video on Do It Yourself Designer Relationships, follow the link in the write-up and you know just come up with creative ways to let people know that... Um... Hi everyone, Lisa Shaw from Escape Out of the Box, yes, back down at Burley Beach and it's perfect as usual. There were dolphins here this morning too which has made it really special and I'm sure you get tired of me hearing I'm sure you get tired of hearing how perfect everything is, but I'm sure you wouldn't get tired of living in it, just like I don't. And I never get tired of appreciating it either. So today we're looking at the um, Do Yourself Designer journey, the 15 minute mile concept, and how we can use that in relation to developing a much healthier relationship with money. So, um, and for me, there are two different ways to apply this concept with money. One is with the hardcore, you know, actual cash component of money. And the other was more with the accounting side of money and the, you know, the digital version of it or the, the paper, you know, the number version of it. So there's two different ways that I use the 15 minute mile concept with money. And one of the things that you can begin to do is um, when it comes to five cent pieces, they are the smallest increment that we have here in Australia for money. So if you start to value the money that the energy of a five cent piece, you'll start to actually find a different appreciation for the energy of other silver for gold and these things all add up to other dollar notes right but the energy in all of them is the same so basically start saving your five cent pieces start collecting your five cent pieces start picking them up off the ground start seeing them for the value that they have don't throw away don't discard actually start to value and appreciate your five cent pieces Collect them, and then when they, you know, when your jar is a certain size, go bank them. Or, you know, if you're like me, it's still in the jar. I've got a massive jar. I collected like a whole full, small Pringles jar within three months of learning this lesson a couple of years back, and um, they're all just sitting there making energy for more money. Um, the other thing is 15-minute increments for accounting. See now. Freedom means responsibility. Freedom is an abdication from responsibility. Freedom is acceptance, full acceptance of responsibility and becoming accountable for yourself and your own life. So if you want financial freedom, you need to be totally responsible with your accountability that way as well. And you can do that in 15 minute tasks as well. You can begin by, I don't know, keeping a log of where you spend your money. Um, you can begin by having what I call a bills book. And you're talking to someone who never did any of this stuff, mind you. And um, my recent newspaper article in the Sydney Morning Herald was actually about a great story that I have from having started to do this. Too much to put into a minute or two minutes or even three minutes. Please go read the blog at my website and get some more ideas about how you can change your relationship with money through the concept of the 15 minute mile. I'm going to go for a swim and lie in the sun. See you next time. Bye. This is a PS. By the way, I forgot to tell you, listen to the radio show that I did with Lisa Murray this week because it's got all sorts of creative ideas regarding money and using that 15 minute mile principle. Also, there's the, um, the Herald behind me that's from um, a week or so ago and that's the article that talks about the story of the time management that made me eligible for a lot of money. And this is my money bouquet. It's pretty cool, huh? It's kind of like a tubular set of flowers. And I'm actually thinking of repotting them all individually and having a um, $5 pot and a $10 pot. And it's all good fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. It's Saturday, around 1 o'clock or so, maybe a bit later. It's been a beautiful day. And it continues to be a beautiful day. I'm in the park across the road from my house. 
and uh, this is a park that has the black swans and all the wildlife in it it's beautiful great place to come and walk and sit nice but I'm here today to remind you of the 15 minute mile and I wanted to talk to you about how you can progressively begin to make your life everything that you'd like it to be. Now you may look at, li at your life right now and think that it's so far removed from everything you want that it would take you a lifetime to even begin to get it back on track. But it's not the case. Truly, it's not the case. If you remember at the beginning of the year when I first started um, walking down at the beach, it was one decision that I made to um, you know, get closer to my daily beachfront living. So I made that choice to be down the beach every day. And I started the same day, started doing the videos for Do It Yourself uh, Designer Living series. And the thing is that all of this rippled out into an increasing um, um, avenues to add to my life all these other things that are so much more authentically me. And so, you know, here I am, some eight or nine, eight on no about six seven months later and my life feels just perfect I mean sure I'm not in France yet and um, I don't have a million dollars but I don't know if I need a million dollars either but <laughs> but you know in other words I haven't done everything I want to do yet but man I feel like I'm doing everything I really want to be doing and I'm having such a great time please go and read the blog as well because there's bits and pieces in that that I'm just not going to be able to give you in one and a half minutes so um, other than that I'm signing out for a few days I'm actually disconnecting and going somewhere really blissful with someone really nice and um, I'll see you in a few days when I come back from my radio show with Chris Finkley by the way on scientific spirituality till then have an awesome weekend I know I will see ya